Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start a new series now uh, about plant poisons. Here I'll be discussing different plant poisons like Abrus picatorius, Vicinus communis, Neria modorum, Calotropis procera, etc. So today I have taken Abrus picatorius. In this video, I'll be discussing about the identification of seed, how Abrus picatorius seed looks like, how we can identify it, the active principle, sign and symptoms of poisoning due to Abrus picatorius, the treatment, postmortem findings, and medical legal aspects. So before starting this video, please guys subscribe to my channel if you find my content to be useful and like this video and share it as much as you can. So first identification of seed, it is egg shaped, it is scarlet in color and it has a black color spot at one end and uh, there are two types of seed, one is scarlet in color and one is white in color. It is tasteless and it is odorless so you won't be able to uh, identify that you have had the seed uh, or you won't be able to smell it. It does not have any odor. And also it is used by Indian goldsmith for weighing silver and gold. Like uh, uh, it is weighed, silver and gold rings or jewelry is weighed with respect to ratti. Like for example, this ring is itna ratti. You know, you must have, uh, must be familiar with the terms whenever we go to a goldsmith in India. So this is how it looks. You can see the scarlet color, uh, scarlet colored seed with this black color spot at the end and also there are white colored seed that which also has a smaller spot at the end, at one end. So if we talk about the active principles, first is abrin. Abrin is thermolabile toxalbumin. Thermolabile basically means that when it is exposed to high temperature, it is going to, its structure is going to get demolished. Alright, and tox albumins basically they are proteins that disable the ribosome. So therefore, they are inhibiting the protein synthesis since the ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis. So abrin is a thermolabile tox albumin. Next is abrine. Abrine is an amino acid. Then comes hemagglutinin. Hemagglutinin is uh, basically a lipolytic enzyme. Lipolytic enzyme means lipid breaking. Lipo means lipid uh, and lytic means to break. So the enzyme that breaks down fats or lipids. Last is abralin. It is a glycoside. Now if we talk about the sign and symptoms. Initially the symptoms include watery diarrhea, then nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, chills, then the vomiting and diarrhea becomes bloody. Earlier they were watery, then later on they become bloody. Then severe dehydration occurs which is followed by blood pressure. So the blood pressure of the person is going to decrease. Then other symptoms also include hallucination, seizure and blood in urine. Also, when seed extract is injected under the skin, then it resembles viperine snake bite. So, if seed extract is taken and it is injected inside the skin, then it the symptoms that we're going to get will be like those of when we get a snake bite from viper snake. Alright, so it resembles viperine snake bite. Then one important thing about this is how it how this apparatus picatorius is misused. Basically, needles or Indian terms sui are made from this these seeds. What we do is these seeds are decocted, like they are boiled down to extract an essence, and uh, uh, like they have they are crushed and then they are boiled down. All its essence comes down in the water, so we get a liquid. Then this liquid is mixed with dhatura, opium and onion and it is made into a paste like thing okay with water and by adding water and spirit and there is a paste formed. Then this, this paste basically small sharp pointed spikes or needle or sui's are made from this 
paste and these trees are for the uh, air dried sorry sun dried all right so uh, basically these needles are 15 mm long and their weight is about 90 to 120 mg so what uh, basically people do is they uh, it is used as a cattle poison in indian villages now this uh, people use this to get revenge or maybe uh, due to some other reason like people what they do is they take needle uh, in between two their finger and in between two fingers and after that they just simply slap the cattle cow whatever uh, <laughs> and when they slap it this needle enters inside the skin of the cattle symbols like a snake bite also so um, nobody will be uh, getting suspicious like someone some person has tried to take some revenge so um, basically two needles are kept between fingers and the person slaps and the needles enter the cattle's body and the cattle will die after some time at the site of the injection uh, painful swelling and ecchymosis can be seen all right so this is how a uh, tablus picatorius seeds are misused now the post mortem findings fragment of needle may be found in the skin outside the skin or inside the skin edema is seen at the site of the injection swelling ecchymosis can be seen inflammation can be seen necrosis of muscle can be seen wherever the uh, uh, the sues have been injected then petechial hemorrhages can also be seen under the skin internal organs are congested and there can be local hemorrhages seen in intestine brain and heart next we talk about the medico legal aspects now this can be accidental cases since these uh seeds are very much you know scarlet bright red in color so they can be attractive to the children so the children might ingest them they are used as cattle poisons as i have discussed already then the seeds are crushed and they are taken also uh, orally like from the mouth for suicidal purposes most of the patients they are from the rural areas since the plant is commonly found in villages only now the seeds can also be uh, made into powdered form and they can be used by malingerers to produce conjunctivitis then they can also be used as an abortifacient for abortion purposes also this paste can be applied on the arrow and uh, then the person can uh, you know throw that arrow and it can act as a arrow poison wherever the arrow strike the person is going to get that poison and he will die the treatment is that we can inject anti aberrant then the needles should be immediately dissected out from the body of the person also hydrochloric pepsin mixture is given orally through the mouth so thank you guys for watching this video if you found the content to be useful then please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends with your fellow forensic scientists and please like my video and comment down if you have any problem i'll be happy to help